G'day guys, welcome back. Um, just going straight on with since from that uh, previous pour. Uh, this one, the pearl mixture is slightly thinner than it was last time. Let me just grab a cup. Uh, you might have to watch the previous video if you're not quite sure what I'm talking about with this one. I'm going to get straight into it. So my paints have all been mixed two parts Floetrol, two one part Liquitex Basics. This one is Cadmium Yellow Deep. And then there's just a little splash of water. My previous video, I had two splashes of water. Um, and the mix, the gold mix was just equal parts of the Supreme Sheen and the Floetrol. This time I've got one and a half parts Floetrol to one part Extreme Sheen. So it's a little bit thinner. So this is thicker, that's thinner. And we'll, we'll see what happens. And this time I'm going to go with the yellow in the middle. Half the yellow. Half the red. Oh, mm, no, I shouldn't have done that. I wonder if I can get some out. Oops. <laughs> Third of the black. It doesn't need a lot of black. It takes over. I'd rather do three layers of the black. I find that works better. The rest of the yellow. Yeah, I, I don't know why I thinned the paints down. Like I tried it like that last week. And I just did not like it. But I thought, oh, maybe there's, because I did the puddle, you see, I did the puddle in the middle. And this that last time I painted all the edges with gold. So I thought maybe that was different, but no. You can't have these colours too thin. It just doesn't look nice. They muddy too much. And when the pearls pop up, they don't hold their nice shape and colour. They kind of just get muddy and a bit wonky. So best to leave this a little bit on the thick side. Now, I think I'll put... Hmm, no, but not. Some gold. Oh, some black. Just a little bit of black. And then the rest of the orange. And then the black. It doesn't matter if you have a lot of black on your top layer because it's going to get poured out first and it's going to become your your outside so it doesn't matter it's going to get most of it's going to get tipped off anyway so you can have a little bit of extra black on the outside the orange was cadmium orange hue and the red is cadmium deep cadmium red deep hue it is now the black is Artist Loft Black. 30 grams of Artist Loft, 30 grams of Floetrol, and just five grams of water. It's a thinner paint than the Liquitex Basics, so it doesn't need as much water per amount of paint. My other, my colors have um, 30 grams of Floetrol, 15 grams of paint, that's two to one. And then five grams of water. Okay, let's do the puddle with this one. And then I'll do the ring pour into the puddle. So this is the bit thinner this time. So the one where I did the, per the pink pearls, that one had the thinner metallic and it had the thinner of this and I wasn't that happy. The previous one to this, this was thinner, this was thicker. Now I'm turning them around, that's thinner, this is thicker. So hopefully I'll be happy with one of these. Righto, ring pour in the center. Here we go. Hmm. I'm gonna do relatively bigger circles today so that I can just get this paint out nice and quick so it doesn't muddy too much. The longer it's left in there, spinning around like this, turning, turning, churning, churning, the muddier it gets. And hopefully you can see already that it's slightly thicker, that my rings are a better shape. 
if you saw that last video with these same colors did you notice can you tell that these are a slightly better shape see the edges makes a big difference when this mix is just that little bit thicker and you can see how I was talking about the gold the black there on the outside it's just going to get tipped off anyway so let's get the paint moving I want this paint to roll over the top of the gold I'll just go slower this time I always go so fast I will just go slower so hopefully the gold is underneath now and I'm going to come back I'm going to see what happens if I take my time a little bit more and go to each corner but not quite over yet. I know the sides have gone over but I'll try not to have the corners go over just yet. Hopefully I've got enough paint that I can do that. And hopefully the gold is still on the canvas somewhere. It hasn't all gone yet. See it's bit there, see it's rolled over, it's underneath now. I might just go for this corner, seeing some here. Come back. It's a blob or something in there. Because I'm taking my time, the pearls are popping up already, which isn't really a good thing. I don't like them to pop up just yet because they're going to lose their, their pretty shape. But those ones are gone anyway. See, these ones have all popped up. So maybe that's not a good idea, going to each corner and then coming back and then having to go to the corner again because these are all going to go now. But anyway, we'll see what happens. It's the only way we know, isn't it, by learning, by trying these things out. And back. Hopefully the gold's still under there. But the colours are much more bright this time, aren't they? With my mix a bit thicker. You can actually see that the mix is, is brighter. Okay, off we go. That's everything covered. Can't really tilt a lot more because these have already popped up. So if I keep tilting, those are going to get overstretched. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to very, very gently just see if I can move the paint without disturbing those pearls. I'm going to turn it around. I actually really like this one, this colouring. It makes a big difference when the mix is so much thicker. Well, not so much thicker. Look, it's five grams of water. It's not a lot of difference, is it? Does it look better that way? So that popped up faster than the previous one. Okay, let's torch. Still got the pearls around the side there. Obviously, obviously around the sides, the paint gets pushed off much faster. I should get some square canvases and see if that's better because a rectangle canvas, you know, I'm pushing the paint off the edges on the, the two long sides pretty quickly. It's going. So You don't want to torch too much because you'll you'll burn the top of the paint and it'll start getting like a film on it and then the cells won't be able to pop through or the pearls won't be able to pop through. So you don't want to, you know, make a skin over the top because then they won't even come through at all. So just a light torching, go through the middle, pop any bubbles. Okay. Show you this one. Hopefully, it won't drip on top of that one. But look at the colour and the rings. See the difference? This one looks a bit more muddy, doesn't it? The rings are a little bit more wobbly. 
it's not as bright because this mix was thinner. That one looks much more volcanic. I decided I, I would do two rather than just do one and then scrape that one. And then I'll keep which one I like and scrape the other one because I can't keep these all these canvases, so just can't. All right, let me just touch up the corners. And it is 3.30 in the afternoon, so it's coffee o'clock. So I'll put you on pause for half an hour while I go and make a cuppa. And then I'll come back and we'll see if this is done more. I mean, I can already see that there's more pearls popping up. And the reason why I thought, just so that maybe you guys want to actually see the cogs churning in my head why I'm doing this, some of you like to, some of you couldn't care less, but if you do, um, now I've forgotten what I was going to say, <laughs> my cogs are turning, <laughs> um, yeah, I just wanted to see, oops, I need some darker colour there, what would happen with the slightly thinner gold, whether it would be able to, maybe because it's thinner, maybe it could come up through the other layers easier. I, I don't know, that was kind of my thoughts. We shall see, hey? Okay, let me climb up my little ladder. I can't get my gloves off. Okay, I just have to do that. I'm stuck. Actually, it's quite symbolic because we've just had bushfires up here on the Sunshine Coast. A lot, a lot of damage. And um, on TV they were showing um, ember storms. How the little, it was, it was night time, it was dark, so you could really see the embers. And they were just like flying everywhere because it was so windy. And the embers were just being picked up and churned around. And it was, you know, that reddish, orangish look against the dark night and just the little flecks of burning embers. That's, this is what it reminds me of, those gold pearls around the edges. Yeah, quite symbolic. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, I'll, um, I'll pause it there and I'll, I'll go make a cup or I'll come back to you soon, okay? Okay, I am back. It's been about, oh, it's been longer than half an hour. I got distracted doing things. Uh, so there you go. Pretty poor. I like the yellow in the middle. Lost the yellow in the previous one, so it's nice having the yellow in this one. Let's take you down for a close-up. Climb down my ladder. Now let's see if you're going to focus. There we go. So the pearls have gone down the sides. Don't see any bare canvas, so that's a good sign. Look at them just floating there in the red. So pretty. And the lines, the rings, they're really pretty in this one because um, you know, I had that slightly thicker mix this time around. Sorry, I'm trying to focus. Doesn't know what to focus on. I'll zoom out a bit. Maybe it's just having trouble getting so close. Not really picking up the, the shimmer. Let me see if I can pick it up that way. It's really hard to pick up metallic shines. Yeah, so happy with this one. There's the other corner. You can just see the bit of the, the shimmer there in the gold. Look at those lines, aren't they pretty? And then they've got these little, little cells trying to pop through. That's just from the density of the paint doing that. 
and the Floetrol. I mean, Floetrol will give you cells regardless. Whether you want them or not, you're going to get cells with Floetrol. It's a pain conditioner, so it's probably got some kind of oil in it um, because they use it to thin paints to go in uh, spray guns. So it is a conditioner. So if it's any kind of conditioner, like a hair conditioner, it's going to have oils in it <laughs> to make things flow easier. So there you go. That's a really pretty one, isn't it? Hope you like that one. There she is. Oh, that looks a bit bright. Turn you down. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh dear. Trying to use cameras are a bit of a challenge sometimes, aren't they? I just use my phone actually. All right. I love that corner the most. Those floating little pearls there. So pretty. Okay. Thanks for watching yet again. Please like and subscribe and hit the little bell. If you want to get notifications when I put a video up, just hit that little bell and you will be notified. Okay, thanks for watching. Not sure what I'm going to do next. If you've got any suggestions, let me know. Um, oh, I do want to do another fire ghost pour, but um, that'll have to wait for Sunday until I have some time off. All right, I'll see you then. Bye for now.